it's an R1 type of day what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel back with another video uh yeah you guys really want the R1M as I'm saying that I'm noticing how dirty my wheels are so sorry about that <laughs> but yeah those definitely need to be clean I never clean my wheels but those are like on another level of bad it looks like I went off-roading for a sec uh but yeah we are going i also was not feeling like riding today i wasn't planning on it last minute there was a pop-up meet during the day for once usually this meet is more later at night but this time they're having it more during the day which is why i'm like you know what let's go let's ride and my buddy got the full carbon r1 so i've in red so i figured i'll take my blue carbon r1m so you know kind of opposites but it's an R1 type of day figured it'll be perfect since uh, you guys really want me to ride this again even though it never gets like the views it deserves like some of the other bikes I think it's because the market is saturated like there's so many people that have R1s so you know it's not as unique and special but I still think it's cool and fun so yeah start up these bikes <laughs> She is loud. I could have sworn with like this uh, new tune from Beauty Moto, the bike got louder. Or maybe it's the combo with the SC as well, because I did change from the toes to the SC. But this bike didn't used to be that loud, but now I feel like, I'm not lying, I swear, every time I got on one of my bikes, I'm like, this feels like one of my loudest bikes. I say that about all of them, so. I'm not lying, this is literally what it feels like. Every time I ride a certain bike, I'm like, whoa, this is, a lot louder than I remember. Yeah, the clutch and power is so weird on the R1s. Every time when I don't ride it for a while and then I get back on it, I'm thrown off because I'm like, the clutch barely has a friction zone just at the top. And the power is very aggressive on this bike very aggressive and kind of like jerky but holy this new tune makes a bike feel a lot faster my front fender is vibrating a little too much what the hell do you guys see that crazy of course right as we start the ride I need to get gas oh my that literally happened to me last time. The whole time. Over here. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> How crazy. Well, that works out because I needed to get gas. Literally, as soon as we started the ride, my gas light came on. I'm like, really? I'm going to just stay in safe gear for that. I guess he, him too because he can't shift. So it worked out. Huh? They take off in fifth gear. Yeah, you're. <laughs> He's trying to take off in fifth. God bless the Apple Watch. Oh, I have the quick release here. So, ah, look how fancy this is. All touch and everything makes life easier. What was that? Tools? No, because it has the carbon thing. I can't even. I need two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're not problems. I can't even get to the back. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was empty, empty. Almost four full gallons. I think the tank is four gallons, if I'm not wrong. Managed to tighten it somehow? I had a fucking uh, four in my pocket. <laughs> I mean, it worked out. That's perfect, honestly. That's crazy. You have tools in your pocket. I've never heard or seen that before. But I'm glad you did. How crazy is that? My last time I rode this, the exact same thing happened. It's happened before, all I, the time. I guess it's an R1 type of issue. It's the quick shift, or the linkage issue. Oh, that went loose on you? Yeah. For me, it was this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's you have I up know. down on that, right? Huh? You have up and down? Yeah. 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 Uh, I thought my uh, down wasn't working. It's confusing to me because I'm GP shift, so technically up. But I just tried it today and it was working. I was like, okay, I guess we fixed it. Because yeah. last time we fixed it with a tune, 
and it should have been working but I test rode it but I did it in like really low speeds right. and it wasn't working usually it does but today it was working flawlessly so fingers crossed that hopefully it's all fixed and good yeah. I literally look at my seat oh, I don't have it like okay now I messed it up hold on <laughs> but i yeah i don't have the whole piece oh yeah because one at all? uh no no i have it at home but because uh i was dealing with like tuning it and stuff like that right. so i had to keep removing it like right here plug it and removing it and all that so i just kept it off just can't stand up might go flying yeah yours, I have, uh, yeah yours is definitely more stiff mine is like <laughs> Barely on there. All right, let's go. Yeah, you just got to be extra gentle with the throttle and gas with the R1. Very, very touchy. Uh, he changed his master cylinder and he said his fixed the issue. But the thing with mine is that... Uh, with mine is that... I have these uh, levers that I really like, which his master cylinder wouldn't work with mine. We we're supposed to go in there, but we're somehow still out here. Or maybe not, I don't see the cars in here yet. Interesting. People are so confused, they're like, what are these guys doing? Yeah, there must have been a better entrance to this spot. But at least he knows a way to get in. Because <laughs> last time I couldn't figure it out. And I just parked on the street and had to go in. That was like before I did YouTube, like as I said, like three years ago or so. We're just really, really early for once. At least you know an entrance. Huh? I thought we're lost again. But yeah, you, whatever that pathway, I was like, okay, perfect. Yeah, we're just hella early. I was like, is this a spot? And then I saw the flags. I was like, okay, it is a spot. <laughs> how you doing, man? Hey, good, how are you? Literally like one of the first few, unless all these people with the trucks are part of the event too. Yeah, I don't know. So I'll probably feel more as I'm uh, leaving that event. Hopefully when there's going to be a little bit more people. Yeah, I see cars pulling up. But yeah, they came from that side. You know what? I'm going to leave from that side so I can figure it out. Hopefully I don't get lost on the way back. But just so I know. But look at these beach views. It's been a while since we've been to this event. Alright. I'll continue when we I leave. I'll probably leave early. How are you doing? <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I'm about to start it up right now. You good? <laughs> yeah, I got way colder. There's a lot of cool cars that came for a little bit and left right away, so I've been dreading it because it got even gloomier and a lot colder. So, hey, 
that Aventador spinning in flames. And the cop is literally right there. I wonder if he's gonna light him up. And the cop is literally like a couple of cars behind. A very last minute event so i didn't expect much it was cool it was all a few exotics stuff like that but the vibes weren't there because of the weather no wonder i've never found this entrance it's like a maze over here and i can't see because it's getting cold and my helmet is fogging up well this is probably a very very short video for you guys but i did take the r1m out you guys wanted to see it out and I did discover that, okay, now I'm getting like dust and stuff in my eyes. Yeah, this is so confusing how to get into here. But okay, now I know where to go. We go in here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace on right safe. seconds barely made it back got a flat tire on the freeway and my seat completely came off when that happens and well, we made it back in one piece so just a little update <laughs> bye